steady underground. Yeah. Go knock the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place up and you can get up to that entrance there. Hunter. Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Are you sure you're ready for this mech, Tom? In the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. Can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood? 
the grease monkey's mecton is built sturdy, just like himself. You need to line up the switches so they match. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. He says that's enough scripts to sustain the Mecton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Well done. It's not his cleanest invention so far, but it gets the job done. Use it to suck up gooey oil puddles in the Mecton's way so you can pass. Gizmo's made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. But this time, it's different. The Mecton will be strong enough to do the job. It's time to put a stop to the World Eater now, otherwise he fears the damage it's caused to the tree already will be too much to handle. There's time to improve the Mecton before you confront the Puff. There are more wreck boxes out in the dead zone with gear you should be able to equip the Mecton with on your own. He got the idea to build the Mecton when he found a big crate containing the metal frame for something Toxanol had named an exoskeleton. Gizmo wants to help if he can. So, says you covered the important things already. Daytime is a good time to be outside. It's another old world brick brack. The night feels dangerous and exciting.
Let's see. Let's see. Anything else than the bitter taste of toxics would be better. This area is bio-contaminated. It's really hazardous. You found Bionucleus 8C. These towers are one of the main reasons the old world went under. Let's see. Don't stop to rest.
It's a jumbo puff with an appetite. Ain't no fuzz. Better put an end to it before it ends our world. Jumbo Puff is kicking it up a notch. It's time for an electric performance. goes all the way down to the stump. Start like a snack, and you'll end up with a ride down the intestinal canal. That's too close to the end station. Better move up, up and away, or be swept out the bowel way. out than flush down. Don't let it happen again. You see, it's what's on the inside that counts. That meaty Taurus is already offbeat. End it. is pumping at half a beat. You know what to do. Who would have guessed it would go down with a throw-up? Can it really get any better than that?
He thanks you for dealing with the first world eater. It's a start. You should go see Out of Date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the Ark. You're good-hearted enough, so you'll have no problem getting him to share the information with you. He trusts you know where to find Out of Date by now. He's always been at the foot of the tree, and that hasn't changed. The Yerk Fields, where the echo of your actions resounds clearer than any other. That's an Aurora totem. Legend has it that activating the four of them together will form a band of your aura in the sky. There it is, the Tree of Life. The idea that all life is related by... The tree's great branches were once budding twigs. A connection between the past, present and future a representation of all extinct and living species with its ever-branching and beautiful ramifications. We are an evolution of those that came before. This day is as good as it's going to get. Let's see. It's a place well hidden. It's just below the above. Out of date's impressed you made it this far, but there's still so much left to do. The end of the world is still on everyone's minds. You've beaten a path where you have the power to destroy or save everyone. Question is, what you'll do with that responsibility? He can sense that your heart beats steadily and acknowledges that the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. 
thinks it's important that you remember who you are and where you came from. Someone without knowledge of their history and origin is like a tree without roots. It's important to stay grounded. You share the same fate as the tree. Wherefore, where we? Out of date says there's a time for everything. And now there's no use thinking of the past, for it's gone. Miami. Think of the present because that's where you are. It's time to set your priorities as the one who completes things. If you continue to do good, good will follow you. If the world really does end, there won't be anywhere to run. So, he's prepared for the worst, something he calls the Ark. He hopes you're right. He gets that you mean the journey continues either way, but personally, he wants the tree to survive. Out of date says there's no clear record of the chain of events that changed the course of history and brought the world to its knees. He's found evidence on the Ark, records of a crisis, decades of contamination that permeated the ground and broke its inner core. The contamination disrupted what we now know as key energy the life force that runs through all things, living and inanimate. He's been told the blight affected everything at a genetic level and turned our perception of normality on its head. It was only those that changed that avoided extinction, proving that the possibility for survival and renewal was real. He understands you are curious about the ship at the foot of the tree. He says it surfaced when the oil broke through the ground. The Ark predates the back-in days, and now, after years of study of the manuals he found inside, he believes he's figured the ship out. The, what? the Ark has room for four more, and he trusts you'll apply wisdom to your compassion and choose whom to save if the world comes to end. He'll keep the seats open, and you are free to invite up to four others to join you in the Ark in the event of a cataclysm. Out of date says that from what he's heard, you've been busy. He says he appreciates what you've done so far, but unfortunately he's got urgent news from his friend Goop in the southeast. Out of date says that even though he's unsure about your intentions, he hopes you'll support Goop. He says he'll point you in the right direction, but finding Goop and making sure he gets what he needs is up to you. That's the sound of impending doom. Out of date's premonitions of imminent disaster are true. The porky puff needs to be handled. Out of date says that Goop is worried now that the Southeast World Eater is stepping up its activity. He explains that Goop is working on a goo gliding vessel in order to get to the World Eater, but needs help to get it done. Out of date suggests that you should head southeast as fast as possible and see what you can do to help. Come, Reaper. He wonders what's on your mind. Says you're welcome back.
The underworld critters are meaner than anything. Let's see. This place is like one big secret that keeps unfolding. This corner of the world is called Bricktown. Let's see. It's Peekaboo Park. Young ones love this sort of place. Too bad for them. This one seems to be in good spirits, despite being left here for dead. Has heard that you have a sense of compassion and trusts it's in your nature to help those in need. Asks you to do the right thing for the sake of your conscience. It's only through your inner conflict you're held accountable for your actions. Is grateful you chose that. You can't be good without doing good for others. Light instantly vanishes down. How much light do you really need? All the light, all of it. Oh, I mean, you could leave a little space for the dark. Life is a never thought I'd see a clothes soaker from the long gone again. 
It's an up cleaner of unwash, the clean cut way to unstain gut. You need to get the pegs lined up to get the clothes. You really put a spin on it. Nice and clear, huh? Today? That there's Subnautica Station. Goop flounders around in there. You can't really understand your story till it's done. says it's good to see you again. He's Goop. You might remember him from the old days when he tried to teach you how to swim? 
Goop says you were always so righteous as a child, and he can still feel it, even at a distance. Goop says memories fade surprisingly fast. We are all pieces of what we remember. It's only together we can remember the story as it was. He recalls you wouldn't put in the time required to learn how to swim. He bets you regret that now. He understands you've returned to face Lupa Lupin. That's the destiny you've been carrying within yourself all these years. He says that the catastrophe back then didn't vanquish the good in you. It's still there, as bright as when you were a child. Now the time has come for you to remember and act. Your law, he thinks that's the right thing to do. It's only when you have forgiven that you'll find peace. The light shines on! Better isn't the word I would use. Right, not better. Best. You're the worst. The worst of being the worst. We're just the best. Can hardly believe the world is going to make it. Wonders what that's going to do to the goo. Thanks you for doing everything you could to de-goop the surf. Thinks the Myriad made a good match with you. You're both like sunshine on the surf. But hey, back to the goo. Knows yesterday is already gone. It's what you do today and tomorrow that'll move you forward. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Subnautica station, as the pollution has worn down the insulation of his suit. So you must salvage enough scrap to fix up his goo glide, starting with the old wreck box outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the goo glide strong enough to fight the Porky Puff. You're lucky that way. There's still cargo left on the shores from before the apocalypse. His best guess is a power tanker hit a reef and went under. This could be the beginning of the end of everything.
Chop chop. Waste of time. You have a chance. You need to line up the switches so they match. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. He's got the goo glide functional. You will have a pull hook and a salvage net, but no armor and an engine strong enough to break through the thick goo further out. But Evie... There are lots of valuables left behind on the surf floor that the salvage net will enable you to haul. You just need to find the right spots. Rakia. Goop says Gizmo's devised a cannon for the goo glide, but instead of bullets, it flips quacks. Squeaky distractions for the triple attentive Porky Puff, which will give you time to get yourself in position. Rakia. The best way to find Quacks is to talk to Gulp. He has the bearings of the Surf Epelago and knows where the Quacks like to float. Ajitawa. This means you'll have the privilege of visiting Gulp in the Sinky Dink. He'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find Quacks. He's not sure, but the quacks are probably a leftover from a cargo surfer that went under in the olden days. The squeaky material must have made them surface when their box broke. See, it turns surf into a highway. Welcome to the Surf Epelago, where the horizon rests on the surfy goo. You're poking around Pockbur, a prime village. Ready to live at your own speed. 